welcome back to my channel. I'm Aishwarya and you're watching The Teen Kitchen. If you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today we are going to make Bisabilla Bath or Sambar Rice. So let's get started. First let's make the Bisabilla Bath Masala Powder. Let's take a pan or a kada and add 1 inch of cinnamon, 1 star and ice, 4 cloves and now let's dry roast it. Let's add 12 red chilies or add as per your taste. 1 teaspoon of urad dal, 1 teaspoon of chana dal, 1 teaspoon of coriander seeds and now let's roast it. Let's also add 1 fourth teaspoon of fenugreek, 1 teaspoon of pepper, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds and now let's roast it. And then let's allow it to cool down and grind it to a fine powder. So our Bissabilla Bath Masala powder is ready. Let's keep it aside and take a pan or a kadai and add 1 tablespoon of oil to it. And let's allow the oil to heat up. Once the oil is heated, let's add 1 inch of cinnamon. 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds and 1 teaspoon of urad dal. Now let's saute it until the urad dal turns a little bit brown. Don't brown it completely. Now let's add 8 to 10 shallots or petals of half onion. I'm adding shallots and now let's saute it until it turns golden brown or until the onions turn translucent. Now let's add 5 beans chopped and let's saute it for about a couple of minutes. And now let's add 2 carrots chopped and let's saute it again. Now let's add 1 brinjal chopped. You can add vegetables according to your preference. You can even add drumsticks. Now let's add one potato peeled and cubed, no need to boil it and then a uh, few tomatoes, approximately one tomato and now let's cook it, saute all the vegetables for about 4 to 5 minutes and now let's add fresh coriander leaves 1 fourth cup and let's give it a good mix, let's add 10 cashews or cow juice and let's give it a good mix now let's add salt to taste half teaspoon of turmeric powder or healthy powder and let's give it a good mix Let's add 1 cup of water, add more water or less water if required as per your preference. And make sure that all the vegetables is soaked, soaked in the water. Let's take out the spoon and let's close and cook it for a couple of minutes or until the vegetables are cooked. And now I'm gonna say how to cook rice. For Bismillah Add 1 cup of rice, half cup of tur dal and 5 cups of water and cook it in a cooker for 6 whistles. So rice and tur dal are ready. Let's keep it aside. And after about a couple of minutes of after closing or 4, year, four to 5 minutes after closing the vegetables are cooked. Let's add 3 fourth cup of tamarind extract. A lemon sized tamarind is soaked in hot water for about 10 minutes. And then let's add the Bissabilla Bath powder which we made at the beginning. 
Let's add the mint and let's give it a good mix. Let's also add 1 4 teaspoon of jaggery powder. This is completely optional. And let's give it a good mix. And let's finally add the rice. Add the cooked rice and the tur dal. So after adding them, gently mix without breaking the rice and let's all cook it until the water evaporates. So after about a couple of minutes, our bisabilla bath is ready. Add ghee and serve it hot. This is a perfect dish for lunch. If you tried this recipe, let me know in the comment section below or you can mention me on Instagram at the Teen Kitchen. Give this video a thumbs up, share to your friends and family. Don't forget to leave your suggestions and comments in the comment section below and subscribe my channel for more such recipes. I'll be back with more recipes. Bye!